Hello everyone, my name is Cubic, and today we're going to be covering a super quick tutorial on how to convert a vehicle into a 5M ready resource. You're going to need a couple of things here, you're going to be needing OpenIV, a vehicle of your choosing, and a server. If you don't already have a server, go check out my previous videos, you'll be able to see how to create your own local host 5M server, as well as adding in 5M ready resources. Alrighty, so first you're going to head over to your web browser, and you're going to be wanting to go to Google, and then type in GTA 5 mods or lcpdfr.com, whichever website you want to use. Uh, next, we're just going to choose a random vehicle, uh, something that isn't 5M ready. Uh, so we're going to go for this 2019 McLaren G600LT. We're then going to click on the download button and click on download. Once that's downloaded, you're then going to open it up and then we're going to minimize our browser. Now you're going to go into the McLaren folder, the 600 LT, and you'll see a dlc.rpf file. What we're going to do is just going to drag that out onto our desktop a second, just so that we have the freedom of it. So here is our folder. Next, what we're going to do is open up OpenIV. I'm going to cover a tutorial of how to install OpenIV soon. However, at this point, I'm just assuming that you already have OpenIV installed. If you don't, just head back over to Google, type in OpenIV, link will be in the description, and then click on download. It's a pretty straightforward uh, install. The only thing that people might get a little bit um, weary about is that when it asks to for you to select your GTA 5 directory. Again, there's plenty of videos about that on YouTube. Um, or if you want me to, I can cover a video about that in the future. But anyway, we're, we're going to be opening up OpenIV. And then we're going to be selecting GTA 5 Windows. Once we've got this open up, you'll be seeing your GTA 5 installation directory. We're going to just be clicking into the URL and then just copying the folder URL. We're then going to go to File open folder and just pasting that in and then selecting select folder. Now, when you go into the DC DLC file, you'll see a few information. Just for uh, some editing purposes, we're gonna turn on edit mode and then we're gonna go back to the folder. So we're gonna have this folder over here. We're gonna create two folders, one folder called stream and one folder called data. Bring them so we can see them side by side. We're then going to go into the x64 folder and your vehicles to RPF, and here's your vehicle. So if you want to take a look at your vehicle, that's what it's going to look like. So you're just going to simply grab all of them, hold your mouse, and drag them into the stream folder, like that. Next, you're going to be looking for some data files. So go back to the DLC file, go to data. And here's your data files. You can drag and drop all of them. Uh, however, you don't need the DLC text.meta file. So I'm just going to be excluding that one and dragging that into data. Now, some vehicles might come with extras. If vehicles come with extras, it's going to be located in the x64 folder. It might, the folder, uh, there might be another file in here called uh, the spawn code. Our spawn code is 600lt.rpf. Again, just have a look for one of those vehicles, copy all of the extras out, and you'll be good. So we can now close this, and then we're going to head over to here. So we have our stream folder sorted. We have our data folder. Now, covering in yesterday's video, you do need to create a FX manifest file. However, we're going to copy the one that we used yesterday. So we're going to head into our FX server that we created yesterday, and we're going to go into TX data and then TAU. Now this is the vehicle that we did yesterday. All I'm gonna do is simply copy and paste into here. Alrighty. So now we can go back to the main resources folder. I'm gonna make it another file called 600LT. And then this is my vehicle folder. Next, you'll be dragging the stream folder in 
and then you're going to drag the data files in as well as the FX manifest. Now here, your vehicle is now fully set up and is now 5M ready. We're going to add that to the server config file and then we're going to try loading into the server and running it. So we're going to add a new line and do ensure 600 LT. Save and close. We're then going to go back to the FX server, the artifact and look for the proper light on as usual. Our server is then going to boot up. And just like so. The 600 LT we can see that has started. So we're going to head in the server and go check it out. Okay, so now we're in the server, you can now see that the vehicle has spawned in with the livery that's on it that's been provided by the uh, developer. You can also check out the vehicle options and also check out liveries because there might be multiple, which there is, there's a camo one, etc. So that's it for this video. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to uh, hit the like button, comment down below, and also subscribe if you haven't already. There are going to be more, more tutorials coming out on my channel very soon. Apart from that, have a great day.